Chris, Jesus died for you on that cross. He suffered terrible agony because he loved you. Yeah, right. Look at what look at what it gets him. Knowing damn well he was going to be resurrected three days later and get his ego stroked for all eternity for what he did. You call that love? You call that suffering? <laughs> I've seen worse examples of suffering in Hollywood movies. I've read worse examples of Christians being tormented way worse than Christ was on the cross. And you would believe, you would think, if I was gonna, if I was God, and I was gonna punish someone for the sins of the world. Just think of the worst person you could ever imagine. How you would want to torment him? The crew, the torment that Jesus went through could not be enough torment to satisfy me. No, 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 no. There's a lot that could have been done to Jesus that wasn't done. Like, someone could have, one of the soldiers could have poured alcohol uh, all on a spear and gouged his eyes out and then threw the alcohol in his face. That would be excruciating. He never was kicked in the ball. That, that, that would be excruciating. Kicked multiple times in the balls and then have a sharp spear shoved up the balls. That, that would hurt. Have a spear shoved up the rectum with alcohol, covered with alcohol. Burned. Have a fire uh, torch and hold it just below the most tender spot on the body. Now that would be suffering. Now, D. James Kennedy, the late D. James Kennedy, said Jesus suffered things on that cross which we cannot possibly know or fathom. Really? Well, in Bill Wallace's book, 23 Minutes in Hell, he says he was a Christian, but he says when he was taken to hell, the Lord made, made him forget that he was a Christian, so he would have to think that he was going to spend eternity in hell. Now, if that, the same thing, kind of thing happened to Jesus on the cross, he believed that he was going to, he forgot temporarily that he was going to be resurrected. That he believed with his whole being he was going to have to spend an eternity in the torments, the worst of torments of hell, but still chose to die for us. Now that would touch me in my soul. That would make me cry. I would love him forever if his love was that deep. But to just die, just suffer a little torment for three fucking hours, and then be resurrected. Call that love? Shit! <laughs> Don't make me fucking laugh. But, 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 but if he, in the, his hour on the cross, really believed he was gonna be damned eternally once he died, and that he had to do this to save us. And yet he still said, yes, I'll die for them. Oh my God, that would be love. That would be true love. Only I wish it could have been God the Father, the ultimate bully, suffering. Because I hate an invincible bully.